Oh boy. <clears throat> Nightwish family. Nightwish family, we have some bad news here. Well, I guess depending on how you're looking at it. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I do plan on doing more than just reactions, but this is right on topic, so I figure it's appropriate. Uh, I couldn't sleep last night, and around, around 5 a.m., I was perusing the interwebs, as they say, and I noticed this. It popped up on my Twitter. I did make a Twitter for this journey of mine. It is I am Media Man on Twitter. If you want to follow, you want to talk to me, ask a question, post a comment, leave suggestions, videos, anything you want. Open book on Twitter. Um, it's a sad day, everybody. Um, Marco Hytella, I'm so sorry with these last names. I'm sorry, Marco, has left the band. He is no longer in Nightwish. I am here on the official Nightwish page, the official website, everybody. And it says, resignation announcement from Marco. Dear people, I am leaving Nightwish and my public life. For quite a few years now, I haven't been able to feel validated by this life. We have streaming company Big Guns demanding 9 to 5 work from artists of inspiration while unfairly sharing the profits. Oh, man. <clears throat> Marco coming out guns blazing. Shots fired, everybody. Let's go. Even among the artists, we're the banana republic of the music industry. Biggest tour promoters squeeze percentages even from our own merchandise while paying dividends to the Middle East. <laughs> Marco laying some truth bombs. I did not expect this. Wow, okay. Apparently some theocracies can take the money from the music that would get you beheaded or jailed there without appearing as hypocrites. Just a couple of examples here. <laughs> oh, man. Marco, my friend. Wow, Marco laying down some truth bombs for everybody. He has had enough, it sounds like. I Oh, wow. This past year forced me to stay home and think, and I found myself very disillusioned about these and a lot of things. I found out that I am in need of that validation for me to, for me to write, sing, and play. Wow, I need to find some new reasons and inspirations. Quote, my Walden so to speak. And it's even in my book that I'm a chronic depressive. Oh, that's a shame. It's dangerous for me and the people around me if I continue. Wow. Yeah, buddy. Maybe you need some time off, you know, some, some time to just do your own thing, you know? Not, well, I would assume that everybody's had time to do that lately, you know? Um, some of the thoughts a while back were dark. Don't worry, I'm fine. I have my two sons, a wife, the rest of the family, friends, a dog, and lots of love. I'll tell you, a dog will make all the difference in the world. I uh, I got my coffee cup here. I know it's inverted, but it says Husky Dad. I've got two Huskies myself. And let me tell you, when they start shedding, the house is a snow globe. <laughs> <clears throat> and I don't think that I'll be gone for good. Well, that's, that's good news. <clears throat> I, I've noticed that. I mean... And I'm sure there's good examples out there, but at the same time, how many bands, how many people have left, how many, how many established legendary bands have had members leave and then just never come back? Like, I feel like it's ingrained in you. Like you got to come back to music in some way, you know? I mean, even Steve Perry came back and people thought he was dead. If Steve Perry can come back, anybody can. Let's, let's continue. Conspiracy is the word of the day. I hear you there, especially, oh, well, yeah, we're not going to go there. <laughs> For the people who like them, I need to say that my 55th birthday is now on the 14th of January. Wow. So just a couple days from now, I know I speak for myself and everybody watching. I think you'll all join me in wishing Marco a early 55th birthday. He says, I've, I've do certainly done my time for now. Yeah, man, you're 55. You've been doing it for a while. You deserve a rest. Blaming, for instance, Tumos is an insult to both him and my free thinking. This is a very th sad thing for all of us, too. Have a care, please. Oh, so I guess he's hearing that some people are blaming Tumos. I mean, after after the, I guess, rumor, you know, I don't, I don't think anybody is officially going to know, but I guess after everything I've heard about the original um, 
break up there. Uh, I guess it's expected that people would kind of naturally go there. Sorry, my screen timed out there for a second. We're going to continue, though. But, of course, now we'll know if some go there on purpose. Oh, man. Let's hope not, everybody. Let's respect the band. Let's listen to the source and respect them, you know? There are a couple of things agreed on that I will do on 2021. Otherwise, I kindly and with respect ask them bands, ask the media, bands, artists, projects, etc. to not ask me for anything within the next year. I have some reinventing to do. I hope to tell you about it on 2022. It's not a promise, though. I am sorry about this. Marco Hytella. P.S. Tony Iommi is an exception to the, quote, no contact whatsoever. <laughs> Childhood hero takes a precedence. Oh, you hear that, Tony? You're welcome. And uh, I'm, that's just sad. That's tragic. It really is. Um, and it's sad for the fans, but it's more importantly, it's, it's, it's sad for him. It's sad, but it's also good. He's taking the steps he needs to get the help. It wouldn't be fair to him and for us to be selfish, you know. Um, and who knows? Maybe that's why I've heard a lot of people. I've heard a lot of people, they're not knocking floor, but they're saying the quality of music has started to dip. I don't know if Marco is a contributing songwriter, but maybe this is part of it. Maybe he, maybe, he, you know, bands, when you're, when you're living together like that, when you're spending that much time together, if somebody's going through something, it could affect everybody. You never know. Maybe this is something long time coming. I, I don't know. And we may never know, but we just need to um, respect his decision and... Hope that in the long run, it's for the better of everybody involved. It's unfortunate for the band, though, because if they choose to go on, they, they're not only, they're not just filling a bass player spot. They're filling a, a backup singer, a vocalist. You know, it's, it's doubly difficult. And he has become the face of the band as well. Like, he's... Marco's very popular from what I'm seeing. Very popular. He's a personality, you know? Uh, and... and when I was doing this originally, I didn't see a update from the band. But now on the official website, it looks like we do have an update from the band. I could be wrong, but this is on the website. And right after that, it says, Marco's resignation has left us with... Ah, I can't talk. I'm sorry. Marco's resignation has left us with some difficult decisions and choices to be made. After much thought and consideration, we have, in mutual understanding decided to perform the upcoming Human 2 Nature World Tour as planned, but with a session bass player. The live lineup will be announced as a later date. We respect Marco's decision and wish him all the best. We will not commit, we will not comment anything further. Nightwish. So, yeah, um, so they're going to continue touring, but with a, with a hired gun bass player, but I wonder what that's going to... See, I wonder about the composition of the songs. And because there's plenty of parts where Marco has to sing along. He's not just a bass player. So is this backup, is this hired gun session player going to be able to sing as well? Are they just going to have anybody sing? Uh, can anybody else in the band sing the backup parts? I don't know. Um, it's interesting. It's very interesting. Um, it's a sad day, everybody. This is unfortunate. But it's the world we live in. Uh, people break down, you know. It's it's a it's not an easy life. From what I've heard, it is not an easy life, and it takes its toll. And he has definitely put some thought into his gripes. And if what he's saying is true, we'll never know for sure. But if what he's saying is true, uh, I can't say I blame him one bit. Yeah, it looks like that's all they got. There you have it, everybody. Marco is no longer in Nightwish. It's unfortunate. All right. We're going to uh, get back to our regularly scheduled programming shortly. I will put out a few videos before I uh, go off to the daily grind. But I wanted to read this with you. I I didn't read it at 5 a.m. I saw the headline, and I said, I'm waiting, and I'm going to do a video. So you saw it here uh, live with me. This is unfortunate, everybody. All right, we'll see you soon.